everybody, this is Mrs. Fitzgerald. And I'm Miss McDonough. And I'm the teacher that works on the campus. I am the face-to-face uh, -face teacher. I am the e-learning teacher, so you've probably seen lots of videos of me if you are doing e-learning. And we wanted you to get to know us and understand that we are here for you and for your students. Because of that, we have a web page that we have created and you might have seen it through Classroom Dojo when we've made some links. And the, only, the way you can get to it is on the school page and you go to, it's on there. It is a red link for our art page. And on that page, you will find our contact information and the lessons that all the students are currently doing. We try to make sure that we are both doing the same lessons so if your child switched, they were getting the same information. Now this past nine weeks, we have been doing line, shape, color, and pattern. And that is what your student will be graded on. Now please remember that your student is scored from a one through a four, and that that's an A through an F, so that they will be getting a letter grade on the report card. Also, please remember that we follow Crane. Crane originally started Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, until we get a day off and then it moves. So it's constantly moving. It stays stationary until we get to the next day off, which is gonna be coming up soon. Now I see the students kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, every day during the week. However, Miss McDonough's schedule is slightly different. Right, with the e-learning schedule on C day, we have kindergarten and first grade. So that is on C day, whatever day C day falls on. And then on N day is second and third grade. And then on E day is fourth and fifth grade. So right now, E day is on Monday but that's going to change when we have a day off. Um, so the e-learning for fourth and fifth grade will still be e-day, but right now it's on Monday, it may end up being on Tuesday. So it just depends on when we have time off. So we just wanted to make sure that you all understood that because I had a lot of questions about it from parents. Yes, and that was something that was decided by our administration to continue to follow Crane even on e-learning um, so we wanted to make sure you understood that. Now, again, I said we're working on line, shape, color, and pattern, and you see you will see that in the lessons. And we're doing our best to make sure that your room is being the room is being kept um, as clean as possible, which means that I go around and disinfect every stool, every table between every single student, and they all have their own individual bags. They have their own individual folders, which are then stored in their own portfolio folder for the class. So everything is kept separate from another child and another student in another class. So we're doing our best to maintain your safety. And we do have dividers in the room to help continue that safety. And we just want to reassure you that we're doing everything possible to make sure your children stay safe. Now, we're getting ready for the second nine weeks and Ms. McDonough is gonna tell you what that's about. Um, the next nine weeks, we are gonna be focusing more on value, space, and texture. Now we've done a couple of lessons um, already using texture. We have a scarecrow one for our second and third grade that have texture in it, and a llama for our fourth and fifth grade that also had texture in it. Um, but we're also gonna be looking a lot more at the skills. So if, e, if you are e-learning, um, it would be great if you guys make sure that you have the proper things like uh, scissors for one thing, uh, a set of crayons for another thing, like with all the colors. I, I had a couple of kids that didn't have red or yellow crayons. Um, so these are the things we're going to be looking for. Glue, they're going to need glue because um, these are all part of their skills, uh, as well as coloring in the lines and making sure that they don't have a lot of white space, not a lot of scribble scrabble type thing. 
Um, that's all part of what they're being graded on. So they might have a great drawing um, and they might get a B because maybe their coloring isn't where it should be. So uh, just so you know, th those are the things that we're looking for all year long too, all year long. They should be getting better and better and better as we go on. Okay, is there anything else that we, well, painting, we haven't really started yet. Mm -hmm. um, we are, we were kind of waiting to see if more kids were going to be back at school because I know, you know, paints, uh, the other things might be easier to purchase than paints. Um, mm -hmm. but when we get back face to face, all of us, we for, for sure will be doing painting. And I'm still working on a way to make sure that those materials that are shareable materials are disinfected and, uh, taken care of so that you know that everything is still gonna remain safe for your student. Now we hope that you have a wonderful fall and um, we love working with your students. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us through email or um, some of you might be able to get in touch with me through Dojo, but we have all our information on our website. So you have a wonderful evening or day, whenever you're watching this, and we will be seeing you soon. Bye for now.